Reef Bum is sponsored by Bulk Reef Supply and Ecotech Marine. Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. So I just got back from Macna in this video I wanted to talk about my thoughts on the show but before we do that if you want to pick up some SPS frags and help support the channel, you can do so at reefbum.com. And with that, let's get into the video. So I was on the fence about going to Magna. I had never, ever been to a Magna. A number of years ago when it was held in Atlanta, I was all set to go, but my first flight from Vermont to wherever it was got canceled and then I wasn't gonna be able to get down there on Friday. So I was like, ah, bag it. I'm just bagging the whole trip. So I didn't go to that Macna. And, uh, you know, then with COVID, there hadn't been any Macnas recently, but, you know, so I was on the fence. It, to Milwaukee from, from Vermont, it's a couple of flights. It's a bit of a slog to get there. But ultimately, I decided to go because I really wanted to connect with some reef keeping buddies I hadn't seen in a long time, some folks that I've chatted with on the live stream that I've never actually met in person. So, yeah, and I think the best part for me was the uh, opening cocktail hour on, on Friday night and just kind of being able to schmooze with folks. I met uh, Mark Levinson, I saw Sanjay there, Mike Paletta, talked to him for a little while, you know, and um, I saw the Reef Beef guys in person. It was, it was just a lot of fun, really was just a lot of fun. I, I um, spoke with Andrew uh, Sandler and uh, Rashid who works with him. So yeah, it was just great to be able to connect with people in person i met some folks that um you know some new folks that i didn't um you know never met before and so it um it was uh it was a lot of fun i met some viewers uh a few folks came up to me and just uh, you know told me how much they loved the uh, the live stream which really made me feel great really appreciate the uh the kudos from folks and i'm glad um people out there are getting a lot out of the uh the live stream the com the comment i got a lot was you're a lot taller in person than you are on on youtube so i guess maybe it's because i'm sitting down on youtube um but yeah so that was really the the highlight of the conference for me so there were a number of manufacturers there and some had some new products that they were showing off and one that stood out to me was a uh, new product called SeaTac, and i don't have any video of this one but it, it's intriguing because you could actually use this product to glue frags underwater. So I'd certainly be curious to try that one out when it becomes available in the marketplace. You know, there was also a lot of coral vendors. There was uh, some fish um, folks there as well. ORA was there and Biota was there. They were showing off their $10,000 hybrid purple slash yellow tang. Uh, you know, it's not my cup of tea. There's no way I would drop that kind of coin on a fish, I mean, it's not even that uh, colorful, but I guess that's something that um, you kind of run into with the captive bred fish. I love the idea of the captive bred fish. I have a, a captive bred regal angel fish that has some really, really sick um, mist bars on it. But uh, yeah, you know, so hopefully prices for the captive bred fish come down um, sooner rather than later, especially that hybrid purple tang slash yellow tang. There was a number of lectures and I was able to attend a few of them. There was a good one given by Joe from Long Island Aquarium about the process of breaking down the 20,000 gallon aquarium there and then restarting it. So that uh, was very, very interesting to me. I mean, I went through a reboot on this uh, fish tank and <laughs> it's, only, it's only 187 gallons and man, that was uh, that was a lot of work, so I was just kind of shaking my head through the whole uh, presentation, like, wow. I think, uh, I think he said that uh, process took about three weeks, and, and um, man, yeah, so quite an undertaking, very interesting um, presentation. There was a, um, a great presentation by Dr. Craig Bingham on lime water that uh, was well attended. There was a, a good uh, presentation by Mark Levinson in terms of what he's been doing with some trace elements from Captivate uh, Aquaculture. I missed uh, Sanjay's uh, presentation about reducing nitrates. So yeah, it was just really good to, um, to, to see folks 
in person the uh, the banquet dinner they honored uh, Mike Paletta and and um, you know so Mike gave a uh, a, a great um, talk during that um, ceremony that presentation whatever you want to call it but uh, it was just uh, it was good to see Mike get to get that honor and, and certainly very well deserved and yeah all around it was a a, a great time I'm very very glad I uh, I went. So, um, yeah, that's my experience with Magna 2022.